everyone. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Um, I am, I think this is day like seven for me in quarantine status, which is actually, well, actually officially, because if you live in the state of Ohio, they've like made a mandate that we are officially under quarantine lockdown. So, and that was on Monday, but I've been back in Ohio and really haven't been able to do much since Wednesday outside of like going to the grocery store and like going over a couple of friends' houses. But we are trudging right along. Um, honestly, I hope everyone during this quarantine time has really allowed themselves to focus in, organize them, their lives, put their lives in a good structure, make sure that they're focused on certain things, especially um, on your purpose. Remember, we can't really fall too far from that. But focus on your purpose and focus on what God is trying to tell us because we are quarantined. God has isolated all of us for a reason. And if you miss it, then you're going to feel sorry after this quarantine time. I'm I'm I guarantee, like I feel I just feel it in my gut that if you miss this time of isolation and you're really not seeking um exactly what God is trying to tell you and you miss it after after quarantine time, things are going to be passing you by and you're going to be like, "Oh, dang, dang it. I should have taken the time while I had the time." So, I don't want to go on a rant about the coronavirus though because I feel like it's every like I look up and I see the coronavirus. Like I wake up and I get news about the coronavirus. So I don't want to make this whole video project about that. But let's get right into today's video. As always, God is blessing us. He's always going to be blessing us. We are on day two of our um, focus on physical health. This this week actually is a little hard for me to talk about. Um, and it's weird because this is the easiest subject of health, I feel like, because it's the most focused on, like, whenever someone is talking about your health, nine times out of ten, they're talking about your physical health, so, like, your external body, your internal body. Um, but I feel like it's hard for me to talk about because the fact that it is such an easy topic to talk about, if that makes sense. And if not, I don't know how to make it make sense. But... Um, today we're going to talk about weakness and sickness. Those are the two areas or the two most obvious signs of your physical health, of your physical self being unhealthy. You feel weak and you feel sick. Of course, those are not the only two ways um, that, um, those are not the only two symptoms or the, those are not the only two signs of an unhealthy physical being. But those are the two main ones is you feel weak, you feel tired, you feel um, you have a lack of energy or you physically feel sick. So you have your coughing, your nose is running, your head is hurting, all of that stuff like that. So today, honestly, I don't want to talk about signs and symptoms because I could go on a rant about signs and symptoms of different sicknesses. But I want to make sure that we are paying attention to our body giving us those signs and symptoms. Even if they are little, like you know when your body is trying to tell you something and our reaction to that is going to determine on determine how important our physical health is to us. For example, New Year's, if you know me, or if you've had a conversation with me, you know that New Year's, I had to get together at my house, and I do not know what happened that night, but I woke up the next morning and my knee was extremely swollen. I'm talking about like softball size swollen now. Backstory, I have had issues with my knees probably since I was like 13 or 14. I have this I had this condition called Osgood Slaughter's. Look up, look it up if you don't know what it is. But it's pretty much when your joints are growing, your joints and your bones are growing faster than you are. So um ever since then, like I've had issues with my knees. Um it was recommended that I get surgery way back when. I didn't get it. And now looking on it, probably in the future, I'm praying that I don't have to get like knee replacement surgery because that's how intense it is. But I have um, had this issue with my knee. So New Year's, whatever I did that night, clearly I did too much. And my knee was swollen literally, literally for like three weeks. It was completely swollen. I had to sleep on my couch because going up and down the steps was just too hard for me. I had to pretty much alter my entire lifestyle because I did not, because I was just doing too much not that's the bottom line I was just doing too much and that honestly I feel like is um kind of the theme for your physical health is 
pay attention to different areas that you may or may not have been doing too much. You're either doing too much or not doing enough at all. You're doing too much. You're overexerting yourself. You're putting too much pressure on your joints or your internal organs. Because again, it's not just all about the physical, like what we can see also about your internal organs. So you're putting too much pressure on your heart, um, your, your mind, your nervous system, all that stuff, or you're not doing enough at all. So you're not eating healthy. You're not working out. You're not um, following medical, um, the, the, the guidelines set up by your medical professional. You're not doing those things. So all of those things are both area, both sides of the spectrum for that doing too much and not doing enough, which sounds like last week with our emotional health. But, um, those are ways that our physical health could get out of whack. And we don't want that. Why? Because when your physical health gets out of whack, you are not, able to give a hundred percent to whatever you're doing okay and we'll talk about this a little bit more in depth on friday but so i'll just leave it there actually so that's why we want to that's the main reason why we want to pay attention to our physical health is because we want to make sure that we're able to give we, we don't want to take pull back any energy from you know achieving our goals and accomplishing our successes to focus on our physical health, which honestly should be the easiest thing that we should be able to focus on. We should be able to, even if you're not hitting the gym every day, you should be doing at least 30 minutes of some type of physical activity, whether that's walking down the street or walking up and down your steps. You should be doing something like that or eating well. Like if you are eating, you know, 50 Debbie cakes a day, like that's not healthy, obviously. And I don't like Debbie cakes, but my brother-in-law will does. So if you're watching this, Put the, put the Debbie cake down. Put the Debbie cake down. That doesn't just go for him. That goes for anyone. If you're watching this, put the Debbie cake down. Put the sweets down right now, okay? Because we are focusing and we are being intent and purposeful in making sure that our physical health is on point. That's the easiest part of health that we should, that we should be able to accomplish is physical health. So that is that is a focus for today. Um, on Friday, we'll talk about um, committing to a physically healthy lifestyle, what that looks like, and how we could how we can achieve that every single day. So again, put the Debbie cake down. If you didn't get anything else from this video, I hope you take that away. So yes, yeah, so hope everyone has a great Wednesday, a fabulous Thursday, and I will talk to you guys again on Friday.